that next question is question number 101 and from here the section of assertion and reason is starting and here you should know that if both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion then you need to mark option 1 then if both assertion and reason are true but reason is not the correct explanation for assertion then mark 2 if assertion is true but statement reason is false then mark 3 and after that if both assertion and reason are false definitely you should mark option 4 first of all question number 101 Assertion is Zeldahl method for estimation of nitrogen. You know that for the quantitative estimation of nitrogen, we use Zeldahl method. That cannot be used for azo compounds. In case of azo compounds, nitrogen is directly linked with other nitrogen atom. And in that case, there is the release of nitrogen gas, not ammonia. In Zeldahl method, released ammonia is estimated using which we can find out the nitrogen present in that particular compound. So simply the reason we need to look here, it says azo compounds produce nitrogen gas on heating. Yes, they are producing nitrogen gas on heating, not ammonia. So this is correct reason as well as it is explaining the assertion also. That's why which option I should take here? Option 1. After that, we need to just check the next question. Question number 102. Cyclo octatetraene is non-aromatic compound and the reason is given that cyclooctatetraene has 4n pi electrons we know that the compounds which have 4n plus 2 pi electron and which are planar in shape are aromatic compound and if i talk about cyclooctatetraene i'm just drawing its structure this is a non-planar tub like structure in this way and in this case 8 pi electrons are present. It means the number of electron can be represented as 4 n pi electron where the n value is 2. It means reason is the correct statement but it is not explaining the assertion that states cyclooctatetraene is a non-aromatic compound. Yes, it is a non-aromatic compound but reason is not able to explain it. The reason is its non-planar shape. So, which option we should use for this question? Option 2. Question number 103. Assertion is aspirin may cause ulcer when taken empty stomach. This is a correct statement. It should not be taken empty stomach. Further, the reason is aspirin belongs to the class of non-narcotic analgesics. This statement is a correct statement. Aspirin is an analgesic. It reduces pain. But this is not the reason for the ulcer causing activity of acid. That's why the answer for this question becomes option 2. After this, question number 104. Coupling of benzene diazonium chloride with phenol is done preferably in acidic medium. Basically, the coupling of diazonium chloride with phenol is done in basic medium, not in acidic medium. That's why this is an incorrect statement. Further, if I talk about coupling reaction, Basically, coupling reaction is used in the formation of azo dye. Further, let's check the reason. Coupling reaction is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. This is also incorrect because it is not nucleophilic. This is electrophilic substitution. The characteristic feature of aromatic compounds. And that's why both assertion and reason are incorrect and the correct option becomes Option 4. Question number 105. Assertion is Ka1 of oxalic acid is greater than Ka1 of malonic acid. It is a correct statement. Now let's check the reason also. Reason is given Ka2 of oxalic acid is smaller than Ka2 of malonic acid. This is incorrect statement because Ka2 of oxalic acid is also greater than Ka2 of malonic acid. That's why it's wrong. When reason is incorrect and assertion is correct, then which option you should opt? Definitely option 3. Mm -hmm.